Hey there, hi, welcome to the channel, I am Garrett, and in this video I am revealing to you the epic, the fantastic, the new and improved Le Chic Studios, the filming setup and everything in it. But before we get into it, let's roll the intro. Now before I get into sharing with you every inch of where the magic happens, let's talk about what this space used to be. When my husband and I bought this house, we fell in love with the exterior, the charmingness, the potential, the location, the view, and basically everything but what this house had inside. It was a little bit of a dated mess, but with a little bit of love, we've updated it and made this one of the most luxurious homes, not only in our community, but dare I say the entire city where we live. But that's just my brand. The space started off with a really dated dinosaur of an intercom system that was like all over the walls and some hideous teal carpet. Not that it's hideous if teal's your color. Love that for you, sweetie, just not for me. We made over this space by updating the flooring and going with a solid surface. We painted the space. We also added decorative paneling to the ceiling. We transformed the space with just a little bit of love and a little bit of time too. This, however, is one of the first rooms we prioritized getting done because this is the Le Chic studio where everything you see on the channel happens. We have got a lot to show you. The first thing I want to share with you are all of the details of the colors. The ceiling and trim is all in Greek Villa by Sherwin-Williams, and the walls are painted Asiago, which is actually a Valspar color. All of that information, as well as links to anything I can possibly link for you, will be in the description box down below. A quick little designer tip for you is when you are painting a space with textured walls, opt for a flat paint. A reflective paint will highlight the high and low spots as where a flat paint creates the illusion of a smooth surface. We started decorating the space with soft furnishings and we partnered with Cardial, who is an incredible small batch furniture manufacturing company who sent to us not only this incredible blue clay sofa, but the matching ottoman and pillows. These were that like one piece of the space where we knew we just had to have something interesting, something unique. So we opted for boucle, which has a really rich texture and is a beautiful finish for furniture. It's luxurious, it's sumptuous. It provides that interesting texture the space really needed. After we had this piece in place, we realized we needed some side tables. We needed to be able to accent this piece because it's like the showstopper. I opted for this small lily pad style table as a placeholder for a table I really want, but with everything going on is out of stock and I don't know when it's gonna come back in. I opted for this piece in particular because it's a gold metal, which ties into the rest of the space, but it's also a light table because it's sitting in front of a closet door that I actually need to access. This means I can move it very easily and it's a really cute little charming whimsical piece that is serving its purpose until the real piece actually gets in. On top of that, I have a piece of my vintage Jasper Ware collection. This is a beautiful Jardinier in this green and white. It's really gorgeous and I have some tulips in it just to accent because we need a little bit of a floral moment in every space, but that's not just me. It's like a known fact and that's not the point. We're not getting into it. Now to contrast all of the gold and white we have happening, I found the most incredible marble coffee table. This piece, I took months searching and looking and hunting everywhere I possibly could for it. And thanks to an Instagram ad, I actually checked out a local consignment store in my town that I didn't know about. And they had this piece there. And when I saw it, it was done, it was over. I knew it was perfect. I love the empire style base and the wood tones. They contrast so beautifully with the white of the sofa. I initially intended on changing the marble top out, but as soon as I sat it on top of this rug, I knew. Green was the color I didn't know I needed in this space. It's the wild card. It's that one piece that just ties the space together. It's unexpected, but so luxurious. The coffee table is also styled with the dictionary of blue and white printed pottery. You all know I have an obsession with blue and white. So of course I have this beautiful blue and white jar here, which is actually available to shop on my Amazon storefront. Contrasting to both of those is this delicate and dainty, beautiful mid-century glass piece. This is actually by a company called Aldon. And 
scent. It's vintage. I believe it used to be an ashtray, but now it's just a little dish. And the gold and white of it really contrasts and pops off the green marble, which is something I really love. The one thing about this coffee table, though, is that the proportions of the table don't match the sofa. And to compensate for this, I actually have this layered with a small blue velvet ottoman. This piece elongates the look of the table, meaning the scale of it is better with the sofa. It was really hard for me to find a beautiful oval shaped table that had the right character I was looking for in this space. This piece, this idea of layering these two as a coffee table ottoman set, works really beautifully and helps to balance the scale and proportions of this space. While we are on the topic of this beautiful green coffee table, let's talk about his little sister, the plinth, to the side of the sofa. I hunted high and low for a green marble plinth. And let me tell you, I scoured the shops, I scoured the internet, I looked everywhere and under every stone to the point where I basically gave up and I was about to order slabs of stone to have this made. I was literally gonna have them shipped from India, not even kidding. And I thought, Garrett, before you place this order, let's do a quick Google and guess who popped up. She is a game changer in this space and she ties in all of the green tones that are happening throughout the room in beautifully. She she brings out some of the color from the artwork and the table and she extends it into the other side of the room and I absolutely adore that. The plinth is perfect, it's vintage, it's a one-off that is basically not replaceable. I could not find another one even if I tried, which I'm not trying because I now have the perfect piece. Now the artwork behind me here is actually a part of my husband and I's artwork collection of beautiful Tarkais. We have about seven of them in total and six of them are displayed in this space mostly because I just have yet to find the the perfect frame for that seventh piece. These three are beautiful, they have pops of color, and they're gorgeous above the sofa, and they also serve as a really beautiful backdrop in my videos. The other part of my backdrop is the drapes. These are just like the chef's kiss of the space. They are gorgeous, custom. I cannot believe the insane quality of these pieces. Be sure you check them out because the, they are just epic, made to measure, beautiful custom made pinch pleats. They're also hung with some beautiful brass tone drapery hardware from Ballard Designs. Flanking the sofa is actually this beautiful floor mirror that if you follow me on Instagram, at Garrett Lachique, you will recognize. This is where I take my little outfit of the days or I'll talk to you guys. This is an essential part of this space because it's just a great way for me to sit here. I have a mirror, I can see myself while I'm filming and it's really just that piece that needed to be here that I didn't really know needed to be here, but I'm glad it is. Next to this mirror is one of the most important or sentimental pieces, I guess, in this space. And it's actually this chair. And this chair was the first piece of furniture my husband and I ever Ever bought for our home, our life together, and it's got this really great Greek key design and it's kind of in a green tone that ties in with the marble at the table, which I really love. Now that's everything for the filming side of the studio space. Let's head over and talk about everything in the office area of the studio. Welcome to the office side of the Garrett Lachique studio, where all the behind the scenes happen. When creating the entirety of this space, we wanted the best of everything because our subscribers deserve it. So if you're not already, be sure you take a moment and hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification to get notified every time I upload so you don't miss another epic and luxurious makeover. Now there's a lot that goes into this channel and it's not just filming. The whole behind the scenes end happens on this side of the studio. My husband and I are equal partners, 50-50 in this business. And so we both share this space. It was really important to us that it's a part of the studio, but it feels independent, which is why we decorated it in the way we did. We used two separate rugs. The rug in the filming space is a vintage Turkish rug from rugsir.com and it's beautiful, it's high impact, it's blue, white, and ivory, while the rug on this side of the room is also vintage Turkish and it's blue and white. To coordinate with the other, it actually has little bits of brown in it that mean it feels separate, it feels independent, so this is a clearly defined space. However, for our filming needs, we had to have great lighting and we wanted that lighting to connect the two spaces. We chose this very long yet thin fixture that extends to both sides of the space and has color changing light bulbs, meaning we can tone or change the temperature of lighting as we need to. The office side of the room has a little bit of a different feeling. The filming space is a lot lighter and airier while the office has a big heavy desk in it. 
this is a double-sided partner's desk because like I said, my husband and I do this business together. We do our work together. So we both have to have a seat at the table. And I adore this desk because it has a ton of storage. It's also oval shaped, which means in a room like this that isn't the biggest room in the world, but it is still spacious. We can definitely fit the desk. The oval shape means that we have more accessibility to get around this piece of furniture, which is definitely something that's very important. These blue sapphire chairs are actually a part of my dining set. If you haven't seen my dining room makeover video, it will be linked in the description box. But these blue velvet chairs are a part of that set, so while I'm entertaining, I can bring these downstairs and we have enough matching chairs. But we use them in our office because they're very comfortable, they're enjoyable and beautiful, and they also tie in with all of the blue pieces we have on the other side of the room. Nestled on these chairs are actually custom pillows. These are by Kelly Wurstler for Lee Jaffa, and they are beautiful. They bring out some of the cream tones of the rug into this space, this side of the room, and we are tying and creating connection between two independent spaces that are in the same room, and I love that. The desk is by a company called Niagara Furniture, and it's actually available for purchase. Of course, it will be linked in the description box down below. On my desk, I have some really amazing pieces. This is a stack of coffee table books with this little storage box here. I typically keep filming equipment, which we're of course using in this piece, that way I have easy access to it and it's right there at the forefront of my mind so I remember to charge it before we start filming. I have here another piece of my vintage mid-century glass collection and this is another piece by Aldon and it also has that Greco-Roman motif that I absolutely love. A lot of you have noticed and commented on my Erte statuette here. Her name is actually La Mosque and she's really beautiful because she's got these incredible black, brass, and bronze tones that really tie into the space. Of course, in this space, I also have this beautiful antique gilt chair. This is another part of my dining set that we have this piece here. So if someone's at the computer and we're watching a video, we can just pull up that chair without having to rearrange the entire room. It's a beautiful piece that also ties into all of the gold accents. The artwork on this side of the room takes the center stage. We have three more of our Tarkai collection, this big, beautiful lady here above the desk. She is in a black frame, which we're going to make over the frame, but let me know. Do you think I should do it in brown or gold or maybe brown with accents of gold? We have two more pieces here, a smaller piece and a mid-sized piece. One is stacked atop the other, kind of pulling back to this layered artwork we have on the other side of the room while allowing me to create the scale I'm after by hanging all of these pieces aligned with each other. Even though they're smaller, I stack them so they have the impact of a bigger piece. We have matching drapery on this side of the room and of course it is sumptuous, luxurious, and beautiful. Floor to ceiling is definitely the way to go. And of course, that may just mean you have to go custom, but I love that for me. And last but certainly not least is this absolutely beautiful painted lady I like to call her, and she used to be in the background of a lot of my videos. However, she has a very reflective piece of glass that maybe just was not perfect for our filming purposes. So she is hung here. You all were curious and wondered where had she gone? This fabulous piece of course was not going anywhere and she's by a famous drag queen called Miss Fame. We were at a drag show where she made this on stage and of course I had to snatch it up. It was actually still wet when we put it into the car really amazing story and a very sentimental piece, just like most everything in this room. However, there's one thing I might need a little bit of help with, and that's the corner behind my desk. Currently, there's nothing there. It's a big empty space. I need to know from you, what do you think I should put in this space? An antique mahogany cabinet? Maybe another green marble plinth? I could do a sculptural light piece. Let me know in the comment section, what would you put into this corner if this was your office space? I wanna hear from you, but I also know that you know someone that they are making over their home office and they might need a little bit of help. Share this video with them because friends help friends. And with that said, I will see you in the next one.